Percentage change analysis form year to year. It examines a change in financial statement items over two years. We apply the percentage change analysis to the income statement and the balance sheet. The percentage change analysis shows us if the change in costs is consistent with the change in the sales from the income statement. The percentage change analysis reveals if the change in assets is consistent with the change in liabilities for the balance sheet. The percentage change analysis formula is the value of a certain item at a certain year minus the value of the same item in the previous year. All divided by the value of the same item in the previous year. Let's apply the percentage change form year to year to the following example for the income statement. Let's say a company has sales in 2017 of $100 million and sales in 2018 of $120 million and then on top of that sales in 2019 of $90 million. To compute the percentage change form year to year we need to use the formula of new minus old divided by old which means the value of a certain item at a certain year minus the value of the same item at a previous year all divided by the value of the same item at a previous year. So the percentage change in 2018 is 120 million minus 100 million all divided by 100 million which is equal to 20 percent. This means that the company has a higher sales by 20% in 2018 compared to the previous year of 2017. Also, the percentage change in 2019 is 90 million minus 120 million, all divided by 120 million, which is equal to negative 25%. This means that the company has a lower sales by 25% in 2019 compared to the previous year of 2018 and so on for each item in the income statement. Let's apply the percentage change form year to year to the following example for the balance sheet. A company has assets in 2017 of $200 million, assets in 2018 of $260 million, and assets in 2019 of $230 million. To compute the percentage change form year to year, we need to use the formula of new minus old divided by old. So the percentage change in 2018 is 260 million minus 200 million all divided by 200 million which is equal to 30 percent. This means that a company has a higher assets by 30 percent in 2018 compared to the previous year of 2017. Also the percentage change in 2019 is 230 million minus 260 million all divided by 260 million which is equal to negative 11.54%. This means that a company has lower assets by 11.54% in 2019 compared to the previous year and so on for each item in the balance sheet.